Okay, I will talk about something long that the little sphere. Uh, the little sphere kind of uh, give a relationship between the um, average delay in the system. Let's say average delay note as t. Uh, and the uh, number of average number of packets in the system that's denote with n or like average customer in the system in the store let's say uh, and if given the arrival rate is lambda it's kind of stationary and it's lambda then we have a simple relationship that n is just equal to lambda t. That's the little theorem. Uh, this is a pretty general result. Uh, we don't need to assume much about the uh, statistics and so on. We just need to ensure that the arrival rate is kind of stationary. So we have the weight lambda. Then is a uh, more or less whole. Um, uh, I will just give a simple proof here that uh, is kind of not the most general proof, uh, we, but we give pretty much the intuition why this is true. Um, we make this. Uh, we will make an assumption that the system is first come first serve, uh, but actually this. Theorem will hold even if the system is not first come first serve. Uh, and you can kind of like argue that like easily yourself also. But being let the system to be first come first serve will make the argument argument much easier. So now what we are going to do is we just try to plot out the number. Uh, just plot two curve here. One is the curve correspond to. Uh, the number of arrival that uh, have arrived up to the current time, let's say I have this curve here, or this, I'm not sure I should call it a curve or something, that this line here, the, 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 the graph here, the, um, that correspond to the number of arrival to the system for the moment, let's call this 80. And this is the number of arrival, number of arrive up to time t. Arrival up to time t. And let's put another one that is number of This BT here, just call it BT, is the number of departure up to time T. Now what we can see is like basically AT minus BT, let's call this NT here, is equal to AT minus BT, just denote this as NT, is basically just the number of packet or customers in the system at time t number of customer in system at t this is roughly customer okay for example like here at this particular time there will be like two customers in the system now what we can see is the average number, let's say this time here up to here is tau. The average number of customers in the system will be just like this empty average number customers in system will be just equal to the anti, this area in the leaf, that's basically just anti, the integral from 0 to tau over the 
total length tau here, right? So that's the average number of packets in the system, or the customers in the system. But, okay, this area, alternatively, I can represent as some of these rectangles. And each of these rectangles is basically, if you can, uh, if you look at this more carefully, this is basically the arrival time of the first packet or customer, and this arrival time of the second customer, and so on. And this is the departure time of the first customer. So therefore, this length here is basically the um, time that the first customer spent in the system, or the first packet spent in the system. And therefore, like this rectangle is basically just equal to the delay for the first customers. Let's uh, write the delay as T1. This is equal to T1. And this is uh, equal to T2. And so on. So that's basically just T up to, let's say, that's um, uh, big, uh, let's see. Okay, at this time, how many customers has arrived in the system will be just equal to a t or a, a tau, so up to a tau, basically. So therefore, this area actually is just equal to t1 sub c2 plus up to a tau, t a tau here. So therefore, this average number of customers in the systems will be equal to 1 over tau times this thing here, because this area here is just equal to that. Okay. Now what we can do is just write this tau and uh, multiply by a tau here. And at the same time, divide by a tau here. 1 plus t2 and t a tau. And if I take tau to be very big, tau as tau goes to infinity, what we have is like the first term is just the arrival rate, right? Because I have like for a long period of tau, of a tau of that is arriving, then basically the first one is, is nothing but just a lambda. And for the second one, I'm basically computing the empirical mean of the average delay for the customer or packet. So therefore, like, this is actually just equal to big T or like the average delay of customer, right? So therefore, essentially, we already show the Little's theorem. Okay, let, let's write it here like that. Mm -hmm. 